Finally got the time to paint the store side of the shop. Really excited to show you guys that. Still a work in progress, but let's go check it out. All right, here is the color that we picked for it. Can't remember what the name of it is, but I like it. I think with these stone kind of floors here and the wood, it gives us a little bit more contrast than what we had before, which was kind of all off-white yellows. I apologize for the audio, it's kind of echoey in here, but a lot of that's because there's nothing in it yet still. I plan on hanging all this artwork up this week. I've actually got something helping me set a goal for that. Um, this Saturday, July 15th, I plan on having a few friends over here to paint, probably shoot some footage of that, put it up on next week's little check-in. But I'm gonna try and get all this stuff hung up so it looks a little bit more presentable in here before company shows up. Uh, eventually I'm gonna fix these track lights up here so that they'll shine on this wall, kind of be like the gallery wall, hang up the art that's for sale here. Also plan on putting these motorcycle helmets up on this wall. Uh, I gotta show you guys one more thing that's cool in here. Oh, I've got this display case here that's gonna get a remodel at some point in time, but I had to show you real quick what I've got in it for the moment. Cycle tunes, these are a couple of issues from 1969. Love the artwork, it's really kinda cool. I see cartoons, but I've never seen these ones before. I know that you guys know by the title of the video that this is In the Art Studio Episode 3. Let's go to the other side of the shop where the sounds a lot better and we'll catch up on what happened last week and what's going on this week. If you saw last week's video like this, uh, this table right here and then the one in the back were both full of parts for a car that is headed to Bonneville. He came and picked those up, what was it, Saturday. I got those finished. And here's a picture of what they looked like when they left the shop. These were really cool. I did the North Central Speed Shop lettering on the hood uh, with that silver leaf engine turned. Did the crew names down the side and the Oki Joe's logo as a sponsorship. I also outlined the USA that was on the front. All the other lettering and the original USA and stuff was done by another artist, sign painter. I don't know who it was or what his name is. Uh, but really cool. This last picture here was sent to me by the owner with it all put together. If y'all can, go follow North Central Speed Shop on Instagram. I imagine they'll end up posting some pictures of this as it goes to Bonneville, both this time and I think again in September, if I remember correctly. So go check them out. That should be really cool. Something else I'm really excited to share with you guys is the progress that I made last week on my art piece for the Motorcycle Art Extravaganza. I'll put this up here for you guys. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. Here's a quick little short that I put out last week showing some of the progress of me getting ready to paint on this. So let me show you where it's at now. All right, so I got my pencil sketch pretty much finished everything planned out on it did some planning out on top of tape here and I worked the background in airbrush and I spent way too much time working with the airbrush last week because I'm not an airbrush artist and I tried one kind of paint that I didn't know how to use went back to what I do have some success using which was one shot uh, blew some one shot through here my vision was to kind of have the background on this kind of loose fuzzy not a lot of detail because the motorcycle in this and then the silver leaf that, or gold leaf I think that's going to happen down the sides and the filigree and all that's going to be really sharp and clear and I don't want your eye to fight the background so I'm keeping that light and fuzzy. Excited to work on this a whole bunch this week. Of course I've got a couple of customer jobs coming in this week. I need to get back to these wicked thumb tanks that have been sitting here for two weeks now. I want to try and get those done and out of the way. And then the other big thing that I need to do this week is clean up my shop. It's getting a little bit messy. I've been working in here an awful lot and just trying to get stuff done. I'm having a get together this weekend on Saturday for a bunch of pinstripers for us to get together and paint. And there's kind of no place to work because there's stuff all over the tables. That was one of my goals whenever I moved into the shop was to start having get togethers for other people where we get together and paint. 
um, in these videos and trying to talk to you guys about some of my ideas, things, so that you get a little bit more out of this than just what's going on in the shop and all. That's kind of one of the things that I've been thinking about that I think is kind of cool. I see a few other places where stripers get together frequently. Um, I've talked to some. If you guys listen to the podcast that me and Freddie Via have, we've interviewed people. I remember Hot Rod Jen, if I remember correctly, mentioning that there's some people that get together where she is, talk shop, hang out, visit with each other. Um, there's a group I know we found out about that's in Colorado that get together and do the same thing. They talk shop as pinstripers, as artists, sign painters, whatever it is. We're a family. We kind of relate to each other more than we relate to a lot of the other people in the world. I find it good to learn from other people that know more than me. And really, at the moment, the only time that I get to do that is if I go to panel jams. So, kind of my thought, part of what's going on this weekend, having people over so we can paint together, learn from each other, enjoy that friendship that we have with each other. At the same time on this one, Maybe we'll generate some work that we can take with us to the panel jam that we have in Dallas in February. Make it kind of a good thing, all right. Got to make a shameless little commercial here real quick. If you guys haven't been to my website, www.jackflemingartistry.com, go check it out. I don't have sponsors on this channel here. don't have Patreon, and I don't get money from YouTube for my videos yet. But I've got products and stuff that I can sell. And that helps me keep the lights on. So if you guys want to help at all in any kind of way support this channel, get anything out of it, appreciate it if you guys go at least check it out, share it with your friends. You don't have to buy anything, but maybe if you spread the word, somebody will. And that'll help me keep the lights on around here. Back to the rest of the video. The other thing I wanted to talk about before I'm done with this week's little studio check-in visit here is inspiration. I got a message from somebody earlier in the week or maybe it was over the weekend that said that these videos and other videos that I put out really inspired them. I thought that was kind of cool. I think I even responded with something like, you know, in putting videos out as an artist, I would assume that all of us, that's kind of our greatest thing that we can accomplish is helping inspire someone else to make art. I even had another artist that I really admire that mentioned in a response to the video that I did on the drawing there for the motorcycle art extravaganza deal that it made them want to pick their pencil up again and do some more drawings because they've only been doing painting. Super cool. I don't know that there's a whole lot of people that really like these studio check-in videos. I've gotten pretty good positive response so far but if I have one or two people that tell me that this kind of inspires them I'm gonna keep making them. Uh, it's kind of cool. I think I mentioned in the first one when I'm in the art studio I like putting on videos where I hear another artist talking, talking about the process, talking about, I don't know, maybe what inspires them, techniques, shop talk. Those things kind of help me feel like I've got someone else in here, keeps me company, keeps me working without having to break my momentum. It's kind of cool. If I can provide that for somebody else, that's kind of why I'm making these videos. So until next week. Hope you guys are having a good week. Stay safe and uh, keep painting if that's what you do. If you don't paint, do something else. Keep creating. <laughs> See you guys next time.